So that's why counties and cities are serious about enforcing social distancing. We have to flatten that curve. Sheriff Chad Cronister made that clear today when he issued a pair of arrest warrants against the pastor of the river at Tampa Bay Church. Pastor Rodney Howard Brown is accused of defiantly leading two heavily attended church services this past Sunday in violation of the county order. Eric Lasser has more on the sheriff's decision and the legal questions it now raises. When Hillsborough Sheriff Chad Cronister saw these images from a crowded Sunday service at the river at Tampa Bay Church in Tampa, he was furious. We received an anonymous tip that Pastor Dr. Ronald Howard Brown refu refused request to temporarily stop holding large gatherings at his church. Hours later, the sheriff, along with Hillsborough State Attorney Andrew Warren, filed a pair of charges against Howard Brown, including unlawful assembly. His reckless disregard for human life put hundreds of people in his congregation at risk and thousands of residents who may interact with them this week in danger. The church's response was to describe itself as an essential service, even though houses of worship have not been given that designation. Some folks have questioned whether the sheriff's office even has any legal authority here, citing a separation of church and state. But legal experts I spoke with say there is precedent. Lou Varelli, a constitutional law professor at Stetson Law School, says a U.S. Supreme Court case from 30 years ago essentially says that as long as the government isn't asking the church to do something it isn't asking everyone else to do, it's on solid legal ground. Of course, if they were targeted at churches or worship ceremonies were singled out, that would be a totally different situation. But I think it's fair to say that's not what's happening here. Pastor Howard Brown handed himself in at the Hernando County Sheriff's Office, heading off a possible confrontation with what Cronister described as a heavily armed security force deployed by the pastor. As for next week, the sheriff says he hopes this shows church members how serious they are about the order and asks them to do what others have done by sharing their religious services online and through social media. And as a sheriff's office, we would never impede someone's ability to lean on their religious beliefs as a means of comfort. But practicing those beliefs has to be done safely. Pastor Brown just got out of jail on a $500 bond. Violations of Hillsborough County Safer at Home order are considered second degree misdemeanors, punishable by 60 days in jail and fines up to $500.